Today on Gaming Soon, we discuss one of Capcom's best decisions in a long time, talk a little about Sega, Capcom, and Bandai Namco's project, and One Piece's potential renaissance in America with the confirmation of Pirate Warriors 2. All this and more on this week's Gaming Soon. Hello and welcome back to another Gaming Soon. This is Kilatia. And I'm Elorico. And we're glad to see you again. How are you doing, Elorico? I can't quite know how you are. I'm doing good. I just recently picked up um, Code of Princess for the 3DS finally. I was with you when you did that. Yes, you were. Yep. And um, and then we found out a couple of games. Do you want to talk about the game too? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But at least, yes. Two of them finally come to America after being in Japan for a while. And one 3DS game being ported to the HD consoles and PC. Yeah. Yep. So, like, let's talk about the first game. Yep, because I know you're pretty excited for it, especially oh. since it's based off of your favorite Japanese franchise. Yeah, anybody that knows me knows that I really love One Piece. Hey everybody, Killer Tia here. I don't usually interrupt a ongoing game soon, but a day after we done recording the um, episode, Nintendo had their Nintendo Direct um, streaming, talking about all their new games and such, and normally... We want to talk about these because, you know, sometimes we don't have the perfect time to like hang out and do a gaming soon with you guys, but the amount of games, all these interesting games Nintendo has announced were like, you know, very unique that I did have to like interrupt real quick to talk about them real quickly so you know we're not falling behind the times. Deaths don't have that much time to talk about them, like um, the newly announced um, Yon Yoshi which is looking like a pretty amazing spiritual sequel to Kobe's Epic Yarn. We also have a crossover game with Atlas called Shin Megami Tensin Cross Fire Emblem. And that sounds like an amazing game. Because, like, you know, who doesn't love a good crossover? And then last but not least, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. And this is not just an upscaling, like, every other HD remake has been, but Nintendo has really, really updated all the textures, all the graphics, like pretty much everything to really look like it was built from the ground up for the Wii U. So like, yeah, sorry we couldn't get to these in a timely matter, but we will be talking about these games in a future episode. So keep your eyes out. Now we now we shall return to your regularly scheduled gaming soon. So, it was only natural for me to get the first Pirate Warriors, and we're going to be talking today about the second one a little bit, because they finally released a trailer for it uh, a couple days ago, and it's supposed to be coming to America this summer as a digital download. Yes, yeah, coming to America as digital download. Nope. And the game we're talking about specifically is One Piece Pirate Warrior 2. Right. Now, before we continue on, I will explain a little bit about One Piece to our non-anime fans why why with power enemy or spice of the anime footage of it. Oh, okay. Um the best explanation I can really make for One Piece is X-Men meets Pirates of the Caribbean. Do you know big things about something? Well, <laughs> I don't prefer people to actually watch it more than, you know, really uh get synopsis for me. Okay, fair enough. It's, it's a little more complicated than it is. So. Yeah, yeah, considering that the original also only had a plan for like 300 volumes of manga, and then moves on like what, 600? I think they're up to like a thousand now. Yeah, so like, it's, it's ridiculous amounts. <laughs> yeah, that, that one I can, that's the thing I find more disappointing because the guy obviously had Plans for this series, but it just seemed like he'd been like pushed to make more and more stories about it. Well, he got a cure Toriyama though, out of that. Like, he got pressured into it because it got popular. Yeah, but I just kind of figured, like, at least if, at least finish your main story first, and then, like, you know, and then, like, move on to more adventures. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, there's an overarching story to it, like, there is an obvious long-term goal to the story, but then it's all about, but, this, but the whole story itself is about the adventures leading up to that, you know, end goal, that long-term goal. Yeah, well, I do agree with you on that, but, like, it just seemed like that his 
plans, ultimate plans in the suit. Just kind of got pushed to the side a little bit, but enough about the anime and how it should have been in the suit. Let's actually talk about it. Right. Uh, it plays a lot, well, assuming that the second one follows the first one, it plays a lot like Dynasty Warriors. So if you like Dynasty Warriors and you like One Piece, there's really no reason for you not to get it. Personally, I don't like um, Dynasty Warriors that much, but I love the hell out of One Piece. So it was only natural for me to get it because it looked good and it seemed to play good. And it, the first one looks good and the first one plays good and it's still an entertaining game. Yeah, and now, in fact, you, you actually imported the first one with another with one of our friends. Right, I went halfsies with him on that when he went over to Japan, and it just happened to come out when he went over there on vacation. Yeah. So I gave him, like, 70 bucks, and I told him to to pick it up, and we went halfsies on it. Because we're both interested in One Piece, and it turned out to be a really good game, and I was really not disappointed. Yeah, then the second one does seem to continue the tradition of the first one, because, like, you see all the characters' special abilities, excuse me, all the characters' special abilities being utilized pretty much the same way as the first game. And the cell shading really helps it differentiate from the other Warrior games like Dynasty, Samurai, and Dynasty Warrior Gundam. Right. And uh, they're also picking up a lot of the uh, stray arcs that they didn't go over. If you haven't played the first one and you're a fan of One Piece, you'll notice that they completely skipped Skypiea. And so they actually put a huge hit to them going over Skypiea in the second version because Enel actually has about like a quarter of the, of the trailer itself. Yeah, he's totally here, but yeah, he gets yeah. a good one. You'll probably see that in the, in the video. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a disc release in Japan, but for America, it's gonna be a digital PSN release this summer. In Japan, it's also gonna be on the Vita as well as PS3, but for America, it's just gonna be a PS3 exclusive. And for those of us who are in Europe that are watching, it's uh, gonna be disc and digital for Europe. Yeah, like I'm kind of surprised that Namco Bandai would skip over the Vita. Yeah. yeah, you would think uh, that, you know, the Vita could use all the games it could. Right. Well, it's not too late. I'm sure it's not too late, I'm just, you know, but still, it's just kind of surprising that right. it's not going to have Vita release right off the bat. Right. But I'm not, not, well, now that I know that it's coming to America, I don't see a reason to import it now, so I'm just going to wait to get the uh, American version. Exactly, so... So if we do get a copy, um, I'm sure Erica will show you will show his opinion about the game. Yep, I'll bring it over and uh, maybe I'll do one of my own reviews on it. Yeah. It'll be fun. Yeah. <laughs> but then here's a game uh, coming up next that we didn't think would ever come to America, and that's Project X. Uh, yeah, Project. I think they're pronouncing it Project Cross Zone or something like that. Yeah, pro yeah, maybe Project Cross Zone, but. The way they use the X for yeah, it's like Project X Zone, yeah. yeah. But it's that uh, Bandai Namco, Sega, and Capcom crossover fighter in the vein of an earlier game that they actually did, which the name alludes me now. Yeah, and it was like Namco plus Capcom. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, it was like a, a tone-based strategy game, and Project Cross Zone seemed to have that same gameplay. Only this time they threw in some um, elements from fighting games into there as well. Right, and there's also saving characters too, so... Yeah. Right. Um, and it's it's interesting that they decided to localize Project Cross Zone because they didn't localize Namco X Capcom. So I wasn't holding my breath on that one. Everybody's like, oh, I hope they localize it. And I'm like, don't hold your breath because I'm not going to move your body when, you, when you're unconscious. <laughs> But, I mean, it's cool, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's cool that they're bringing it over here, and I'm definitely going to pick it up, because it looks pretty interesting to me, uh, but I just didn't think it'd get localized. Yeah, like, the, the big reason why the last game didn't get released, as well as Project Crosso originally wasn't going to get stateside released, but because apparently that was included some Japanese exclusive, Japanese exclusive franchise into these games as well, and they're not really well known in America, so they decided to skip over them, but I guess the, the three companies involved in this game figure like, you know what, if 
despite the Summoning franchise not being well known, they're gonna get popular with these games anyway, so let's just put, put them over to the United States and Europe. Right. I mean, there's a lot of games that make franchises popular, and so I didn't see a reason for them to not bring Namco X Capcom over here. I assumed it was licensing reason, but you telling me this now makes me, like, reconsider. But, like, you also have to consider that, like, Smash Brothers introduced uh, American fans to Mother and Fire Emblem, and now those franchises are popular over here now, uh, more so than they used to be, anyway. And, you know, there's... there's popular games that you can put this more obscure stuff into, like Project X Zone or Cross Zone or whatever, <laughs> and it's going to make this stuff popular by extension if it's a good game, obviously. Okay. Now, I was going to put down on this of what franchise are going to be represented, but since there was like so many of them packed into one game, I decided to skip them over and let's say 99% of them. Right. How about that? I was kind of surprised to put Mega Man in there. Yeah, considering that Capcom pretty much killed it like two years ago. Yeah, I'm still waiting for them to redeem themselves on that one. Yeah, I don't think Avatar items on Xbox Live and a crappy iOS game isn't gonna do the trick. Yeah, but it's nice to see that they haven't completely forgot about him because he's in there with Zero as like a team. So. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So, so. <laughs> anyway, that's it for Project X overall crossover. Well, yeah, no, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> let's, let's move on to the last game, which, you know, well, it started out as a rumor a while ago, but now it's been officially announced that the hit 3DS game, Resident Evil Revelations, is gaining a Xbox 360, PS3, and PC release later this year. Revelation. Revelation. Did I say Revelation? I don't know. I was paying attention. We're I got kind of space out there for a second. Well, pay attention. Oh, We're sorry. recording, dude. I'm poor. Relax. Okay, well, like I said, they're putting the hit 3DS game to the HD console, right. which, which, considering that Resident Evil 6 wasn't exactly the one way hit Capcom wanted it to be, I can see why they would do that. Yeah, I mean, I kind of saw it coming, but at the same time, it was a little bit of a surprise that they actually did it. Because I I have I still have Resident Evil Revelations on 3DS. And uh, speaking of 3DS, we're well, gonna showcase the 3DS trailers, but we're also gonna put up some screenshots of what the HD posts are gonna look like in between the trailers. So. Right. I mean, you can definitely tell it's the 3DS version from the trailer. Though. <laughs> yeah. It's like it doesn't look very good blown up. It was the same problem with Pokemon X and Y the trailers when we talked well, about what about uh, last last episode. Well, with, what, 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 <clears throat> excuse me, but with Revelations, like, you can obviously, obviously tell they put a lot of hard work with the graphics in the 3DS because that really pushed the system, system's capability. You right. Could, you could have almost mistaken it for, like, an only 360 release. Right. It, it's a very sexy game, even on the 3DS, so I think with a lot of love and a little bit of extra foot, uh, a little bit of extra stuff into it, I think that it would be uh, extremely successful on 360, PS3, and uh, and PC. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get it for the PC myself because I've been doing a lot of PC gaming lately, so I want to show my love to that. But if you get the PS3 version, I wouldn't mind playing with you on that. Right. Uh, I was I was actually gonna get the PC version myself uh, when it uh, when it price drops because there's no reason for me to pay full pay full price for two copies of Resident Evil Revelations, no matter how different the two happen to be. Valid point. Yeah. <laughs> so, I figure I'll wait, wait a couple of years for Steam sale and get it for like five bucks. Yeah, but still, like, all of these three games we didn't see coming, but it's nice to see them come to fruition. So yes, it, it's, it's nice to see them, to see uh, America finally get some uh, interesting stuff from Japan, and it's nice to see Capcom uh, come around and start making some smart decisions for once. Yes, because let's be honest, as much as I would love to play the game with 3DS, I would pro I would prefer to play it on a beefy, beefier console or on my main PC gaming rig. Right, and you know it's not going to be a half-assed port because there's no way they do that. <laughs> not with something that came from something so uh, inferior as yeah. the 3DS. I mean, because let's be honest here, the 3DS is not a high-end PC. Yes. <laughs> or a console by any means. Yeah, not high-end, <laughs> but still surprises people how good it looks. Right. 
Yes. So anyway, that's it for this week's gaming soon. Um, if you have any suggestions, don't be afraid to leave comments and such. So anyways, catch you guys next time. See ya.